Hello everybody, so welcome to another video and today we're gonna do a dashboard replacing job so here we have a used dashboard so we're gonna exchange them we're gonna try probably that one gonna fit if not we're gonna try this one because we need to replace because the turn indicators just won't work and uh, to replace the dashboard we need to make adaption so that's very important so let's go ahead and go inside um, and look what we have okay so in here I already done some things uh, like uh, save job because normally what you have on the dash uh, it says save in here and you cannot do any functions you probably can start the engine or even not probably the screen will work but normally on the middle it says save mode <coughs> because all it's because of uh, parts protection it's uh, with the VAC group uh, so basically <coughs> use it parts when you install in another car from another it's a pretty problem to get this all work because it's in the safe mode or protection mode so what you need to do you need a computer with the diagnostics actually those diagnostics can be any but uh, the most likely you need to do a safe job and you need to adapt the parts so I already done that and what we still left is uh, adoption light defective that's because uh, in this car we don't have a uh, xenon adaptive lights so that's mean we need to reprogram the dashboard and the gateway to get the that fault away and say that the ECU the basically on this car is not fitted the xenon the adaptive lights so in this case we're gonna start the program so we start the program and we see then we have a basically code number this is a 2368003 and what we can do we can code it in but actually first of all we need to change the coding so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go in the coding helper and in this case we can see what kind of codes do we want change coding value so if you know exactly what code you want you can can just for example just delete it and enter your code you need but uh, the good thing what we have here is a basically little helper uh, which one basically helps you figure out what you have and what you not for example in the check boxes we have to look on this one because it says advanced front light system AFS installed and adaptive cruise control ACC installed but actually it's not it's not installed in this car or you can do it when you basically replacing your headlights when you replacing them just taking them out and in this case as you can see we had a simple one halogen lights it's not xenon lights so you can just pretty simple uh, if you had broken xenon lights you just get them out and uh, install a simple lights without the xenon so in here what we're gonna do we just uncheck this one and you can see on the top how the coding is changing yes if you're checking and unchecking so yeah we're gonna uncheck that one and then we have a 70 liter fuel tank only front wheel drive vehicle symbol avant wagon this one gonna, gonna leave switch option for board computer levels this we're gonna leave it illumination plus washer fluid warning uh, and here we have uh, this act so now we just hit the OK button hit the OK and uh, here we have the old value code and nav coding values so we just hit the set button and it says new coding value is written and let's see what we have on the dash 
lovely. Just some songs, I would reckon. Just radio. And uh, yeah, the coding is set. Let's just switch off ignition and switch on ignition on. And it should not show any more adaptive light problem and should work fine. For that reason we just can click the check button and see if there is some faults. Now it's checking. So all actually should be okay. If there is something not okay we get the symbol, we get the light on and yeah definitely then we need to um, fix that thing but now it's all pretty cute so that's for the coding and now let's have a look how to exchange a part so about the component protection again uh, we already fit all things back together so to adapt the new dashboard to the car you need to go in menus like these ones so in this case we can see then the, this functional allows you the customer to adapt used parts on the cars in general requires following steps reset the module to the virgin states and then you need adapt the module to the vehicle you want so basically in here we can see what we can adapt, we can adapt airbag system, the KSI and what we done, we done uh, instrument cluster, so it says no, not virgin, uh, sensor electronics, there is no component protection and so on, yes, yeah, so that's what we done, we replace it and now it's perfect, all good is running, so the virginize is done. So that's how it's done. There is another way how to do it, but anyway, you need to code and virginized and program to the car used parts for the VAG group. Usually, it's like Audi and Volkswagen. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and ask questions. Good luck. Bye.